Hi, this is Justice. In this sixth brush creator tutorial, we're going to be talking about Canvas. So Canvas has two settings, paper texture strength and paper texture contrast. Now I have selected round two in watercolor, very light pressure. I'm going to draw on the canvas and you're going to see we have a good amount of texture, canvas texture that's showing up. This is, again, this is per brush. So keep in mind that as you switch the canvases, these brushes are going to behave differently. So paper texture strength, if I bring this all the way to the left, you're going to see that the influence of the texture of the canvas is going to go away. Now we're using a very mildly textured canvas. We click here on canvas. You can see we have HP01 hot pressed. I use this because it does a really good job working with the pencils to create very realistic pencil textures. If we want to see more canvas texture, we can do two things. We can increase the texture scale here. Let's bring this up to 100. And we're going to see that this texture, let's bring this back up to 75. This texture is larger. So you can see the texture here is smaller. This is the larger. So I'm going to pick a canvas here that has a very strong texture. This mulberry paper, we're going to leave texture scale at 100. And this is really going to help us see how the paper texture strength, texture contrast, and how this right here, the paper texture scratch from auto to light and dark, how that works. All right, so let's go ahead and clear the canvas. Let's move this over to the side and let's bring paper texture all the way up. Now here you can see we've got a curve editor. This high means that with very light pressure, the influence of the canvas texture is going to be very strong. If we bring this all the way down, we're not going to see any of the canvas texture influencing the paint. If we adjust the texture strength curve up and to the right, that means if we start with light pressure, we're going to see very little canvas influence and then heavy pressure, we're going to start seeing that canvas influence start to show up. Now this is counter to what we actually see with a paintbrush. So by default, it's set the other way. That means light pressure is going to really show that canvas texture. And as we push harder, it's going to fill in the same way paint would fill in cracks and peaks on a real canvas. All right, so let's go ahead and let's reset this back to how it was before. This right here is showing light pressure working with the canvas and heavier pressure filling in. And let's turn off glaze just so this is easier to see. All right, so let's adjust this. We're going to close this and we're going to adjust this so that we are uh, very high with light pressure. Uh, actually, let's make it really high uh, with all levels of pressure. So if we're pushing hard or soft, we're gonna get that same texture influence. Okay, now here you can see this is set to auto. Auto is going to choose the default setting for the canvas, like mulberry or yucca or banana. These different ones might have different settings. So each canvas might have one set to light, the other set to dark, depending on the type of canvas and the texture and how it would behave in real life. So we're going to choose light texture. We're going to clear the layer. On this canvas, you can see there's a lot of very light strands in the mulberry paper, the fibers. Now, if we paint here, you can see that we are darkening. We're painting on the light sections, not the dark sections. Here, dark texture, you can see we are filling in the dark sections, not the light sections. The lightness and the darkness indicate levels. So light would be high, dark would be low peaks of a mountain, valleys of the mountain. We can increase and decrease the contrast here. So if I bring this to the left, you can see this is going to be 
a little softer, if I bring it to the right, it's going to be very harsh. It's going to be a very strong contrast between the light and the dark. Now, one of the questions that I had when I was using the brush creator in the beginning was how to get it so that I can paint on top of some oil paints. So let's actually look at that in this video here. Uh, let's grab a couple colors. Let's turn pigments on. And let's blend these a little bit. Let's turn max loading really high. And let's bring our impasto depth way up. All right, so now we have some clear peaks and some clear valleys. Let's use the eraser to cut in. All right, now let's go back over here to our watercolor and let's look at our paper texture contrast and our paper texture strength. So strength, we're gonna keep the same and paper texture contrast, we're gonna put this back in the middle and paper texture scratch, let's look at light. So you can see here where there's paint, let's choose something that's not over here. Let's choose a lighter blue so we can see this. You can see with light pressure, I'm going right over the top right over the top of the paint and over the tops of the canvas. So this is choosing to paint on the high points of the canvas, including the other paint. Now, if we choose dark texture and let's do that same thing, but let's choose a different color. Let's use a purple. Now here, if we paint over the top, it's not going to get to the dark sections here unless it's empty. So here it's going to paint over the tops of the paint, just like it would in real life. And then if we get to the canvas, it'll paint in the lower spots. And if you're using watercolor, the water will flow into the lower spots anyway. So that works well. If you are trying to paint on top of a peak, then put this at light texture. Uh, let's go over here back to oils and acrylics. So we're gonna go over here to oils and acrylics. We're going to choose round hard two. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the loading way down. We're going to make sure that we have paper texture scratch turned on to light texture. And here, as we go over the top, you can see that we can kind of frost the top of this paint. Again, the key components here are keeping loading low. If we put loading high, we're just going to go right over the top and we're going to be smudging that paint. So we want loading low paper texture scratch turn to light and you're going to get that response that you're looking for and i love this this is something that i wanted to learn how to do for a long time all right you guys that is going to be the last video on the brush creator in the next video in this series we're going to look at creating three different types of brushes we're going to put into practice what we learned in the first six videos of the Brush Creator series. All right, you guys, if you have questions or comments, put it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.